Welcome back to show off. We're uh, in the museum trying to steal everything. Watching guards get stuck on the furniture. Uh, I'm. I think you need it. I'm gonna do the quick save and quick load, see if that frees him. Yeah, good. Ah, uh, you know, old games and their quirks. So, is that out there? Oh, that's stone, not tile. Alright, so it's not quite as bad as it could be, but. I'm gonna do first, I think I'm gonna follow this fellow. See what's through his doorway. Hello? Oh, wait well. oh hello. As I say, I must have been down here and knocked him out, but no, this is the other end of the downstairs area. Basement key. Uh. Yes, that was foolish because there's a guard patrolling the basement. Well, uh, I guess he was. not coming our way. Let's put this fellow in some deep shadow somewhere. Sleep there. Alright, good to know we can get in the basement and out the basement. Larry, you imbecile! I gave you one simple task. Hold on to the moonstone rings while the janitor repaired the mechanism under the display case. I don't care how sleepy you were this afternoon. That does not make it permissible to drop the rings in his mop bucket and go wander off to the bunk room. You know very well that the janitor is half deaf and wouldn't hear the rings clatter in that bucket. He's already finished mopping all the floors tonight, so you better hope all eight rings are in his workshop or the supply closet. Otherwise you'll be searching every inch of, the, of this museum on your hands and knees until they're back in their display case. Captain Charles. Eight rings. Rings in the mop bucket. Well, we did find a uh, Genesis closet upstairs, so I think we guess we need to check it out again. Now this guard, did he... Uh... Where did he go? I think he's upstairs and going to be coming back down. Hmm. Well, I don't want to go upstairs. Yet. So he's just making himself annoying. And uh, coming scarily close to me too. thief. He's got a watch point to go stand and look at the things but uh, it's not triggering properly so he's walking to it and there he goes. He walks up to it and tries to get there and doesn't make it and keeps walking back and forth till he reaches the point his patrol path tells him to go to. He's going round. I can do this. Maybe.
Let's get upstairs. There's one gonna come through that doorway very soon. I know there's him. We don't want him to see me either, so. Yeah, here's the. Oh no, that's this guy going up and down the stairs. All right. Oop. There's the guy coming through the door. All right, he's he won't see us. Good, good. Ah, oh, there's a lot of statues. Alright, I think, I think we got away with it. Is that the front door or something? No, it's another door. I do want to go down this uh, hallway. <sighs> Which is. Eh. Oh, look at the carpet. I can maybe jump from carpet to table to carpet to table. That's probably worth trying. But we'll have to wait for uh, our friend to come through, I think. And if I get it wrong, it'll be very noisy, and I will probably have to run. I've already done enough running. Or too much running, even. Well, at least I have another healing potion somewhere. And, well, three flash bombs now. Also have an invisibility potion, but I have no idea. I don't remember which key that is. Fake the flash bomb. Yeah, I don't know. F3, okay. Ah, now we've got to wait for this fella. Sequencing, but uh, this fella should be out of the way by the time that. at the same time as him, so it should be okay. Should be okay. Let's do it. Ooh. Well, he heard me, but he didn't pick up where the sound was coming from. So I think that's all right. Got a bunch of gears, a bunch of swords, a bunch of uh, two horns. Okay. Uh, so there's still another door on this side, but I think that's the outside door that we couldn't get in before. Let me go test that theory. I have the basement key now. I certainly get in the basement. Yeah, that door there looks like the, uh... The other one opening onto that big chamber with the huge statues. Yep. So we don't need to go that way. Alrighty. Upstairs. Now the Watcher up here should be out of action, so we can deal with those d display cases. But wait. Before I go upstairs... Wasn't the janitor's closet off here? Hang on. Oh. Careful. Yeah, one of those is the janitor's closet. We'll get to check his bucket. Eight rings, huh?
Aha. Hello. One of eight moonstone rings. It's not normal loot. Okay. Uh, it's not. It's not an objective. Maybe it's a secret objective. Okay, upstairs. So this watcher should be off now. Good. Now there is a guard somewhere around. Eight moonstone rings, donated by the family of Lady Serena, and there's not a single one there. So I'm not, under, not quite sure what these locks are supposed to be about, because I can certainly throw that tiara. But, it might be something alarm related, so I will, I will use the key. Let's just do them all. Keep, keep the key out. Oh dear, and we're going to have to scour the entire place for those other seven rings. I think the answer is yes. Studded necklaces donated by Duke and Duchess Reina. Seedling diamonds donated by Don Valencia. Where's our loot goal? Red Cedar signet donated by the family of Lord Red Cedar. The CSI donated by Edmund Matheson. Now this is my kind of art. There's an objective. Oops. Aquamarine, Aquamarine rings donated by Dorcas Goodfellow. I think that name turns up in Thief 2. The Twin Sapphires donated by Nathaniel and Jeffrey Farrington. Rings of Eternity donated by Robert and Julia Highwater. Did I get this one? Oh, yeah, that's the Moonstone rings. Okay, so there's seven moonstone rings <laughs> lying about somewhere. There's a fun little side goal, I guess. Yeah, maybe they are like hanging out by the sinks or under the sinks. Yeah, they don't seem to be in the toilets. I've been checking all the toilets. All right. Oh, there's a guard. I don't really have any darkness here, do I? Oh, wait, he doesn't come here. The guard that comes out here, I already knocked out, didn't I? Okay, then. Ah, more of Gervasius' masks. Downstairs, I hope so.
Good job there, Gary. Your jumping skills are second to none. Although, thankfully, it didn't matter. Alright. There's two guards, I think, running around up there. We saw them right at the start when we tried to go in the upstairs balcony. There were two guards and two watchers. But the watchers are both off. So I'm wondering if there's another guard that comes in through this door or not. We'll just watch and wait for a minute. Seems okay. A jar. Efrenzuyo Ruffi. Uh, what? Oh god, is that the puzzle? Flagon. Pot. Goblet. Where are we are little Vows. Also a jug. So we got a jug. Yeah, alright, well. Oh no, okay, this is just the stairs. Okay, down there as to where the, uh... Oh, wait. There is a guard that goes on down here. Same one that goes up and down from downstairs. Hmm. See him. You've made a big mistake, Tapper. Sorry. You'll pay for this. I didn't know I was there. Just one move, Tapper, and you're mine. Yeah. Well, Damn. Right. He's gone now. I have flash bombs. I should probably use them. Coward, face me like a man. <laughs> yeah. Your friend up in here. Good. All right. Well, if you want to be a successful thief, always have an escape route in mind. Dang. Come out and face me, villain. <laughs> Didn't realize I'd always also woken up his friend. Damn it! How'd you get in here? Oh well, what was that about? Escape route in mind. Come on, flash bomb. Mess with the wrong man, thief. One more. Well, see, this is how everybody in the city knows Garrett's name because he always gets caught. He escapes. With all the loot. But uh, they all see him on the job. I mean, if you're completely silent and nobody even knows you're there, he's not going to make you famous, is it? Alright, we've got, still got to do the barrier. Sort of gemstones and jewellery. Do not touch. All display cases are equipped with state of the art weighted sensors. Removing any of the exhibits will result in triggering the alarm. Well, that's what I guessed. I didn't notice that that was readable before. Uh, now I forget what I was, where I was and what I was doing.
Oh yeah, I was trying to come back this way. Did I make it round that room? I can't recall. No, I didn't. I was sneaking up to get there and got spotted. I think one of the guards from there is one of the ones that chased me down. So there should be only one left. That should make it easier. Why am I hearing two? Oh, one downstairs. Oh god, that's all marble. Oh no. I think this guy is going to have to uh, go for sleep. There's no way I'm going to crouch, creep slowly around that marble floor. I don't have the patience for it. The guard downstairs might hear me. Ah, the Neoni Guardians acquired from the homelands of the Handmages. Right, so that was the bonus objective on the expert difficulty, was to collect those. Most of these are not labelled. It's kind of disappointing to use unreadable plaques everywhere, and some of them are readable. You should be consistent in the object usage so that uh, players can actually have an idea what's going on. So I thought most of them were unreadable, so I didn't bother trying to read most of them. Same with the stand telling me about the uh, alarms. I've seen many like this one that are just not, act not usable. So I've not really tried. Now yeah, this would be tedious with two guards running around. Very tedious. Alrighty, successful looting. That's the stairway down. Nothing more we need there. There's those jars with confusing plaques which suggest some kind of puzzle, but I don't know what for. Um. <gasps> but apart from that, I think all we've got left to do well, there's the eight, the eight rings of which I've seen none. I really want to scout the whole museum on my hands and knees trying to find all eight of them. What did the notes say? Did it give me any hints as to the others? Uh, the mop bucket, yes. In his workshop or the supply closet. Well, we can check the workshop down, down in the basement, right? Let's just go there briefly and, and try that. And uh, where was the supply closet? Maybe it's the same room or maybe there's a, was the one downstairs? I don't remember. So the janitor's workshop. That's the basement entrance. Security room. Oh, that's right. There's a whole curator's house key that... Uh... I don't know what to do with. There's not any keys in this room, right? Ah, keys. Rings. Oh dear. 
could do the barrier, take the barrier down and go upstairs and deal with the main problem, the main goal. These don't open, do they? Just checking. Could do the barrier and go deal with the main objective just now to get the crimson shards, but there's definite risk. Well, it's not really a risk. I could do that and finish the mission, and if if it looks like I'm going to take a long time over this whole rings business, then that's probably just what I'll do. Where was the workshop? Definitely f it's a bathroom. It's a supply closet. Right. There's the one in the ring in there. None in there. Definitely saw Calpitus, uh workbench somewhere. Where was it? Oh, that's right. It's the other uh, room down there. There's a guard still patrolling here, isn't there? If I just run out now, he'll probably catch me. I think. Wait a minute. Relax, listening to the crackling of the torch and the music. Or just be impatient. Oh. Where did he go? Maybe he was one of the ones that chased me and I knocked out. I don't I don't know if I can keep track anymore. Yeah, the carpenter's workbench was in here. Was it? No. Now I'm confused. I definitely saw a carpenter's workbench. Oh, maybe it's in the other part of the basement with the guard patrolling that I haven't been back to. Well, I thought that was just the barracks. Or guard quarters or whatever. Throwing the rings in the waste paper, right? Where's that guard? What's why have all the guards disappeared now? Oh, there he is. You know what? I have I have messed up so much already on this mission and taken out so many guards that I'm just going to knock this guy out. I think if I have if I want to have any hope of finding those rings, I just like. More guards in the way is just not worth it. Someone making. If it was just finishing the objectives, I would just leave him, but uh, I am being impatient. Now, these are the curator's rooms, so these are not. Uh... Oh, hang on. Here we are. Carpenter's workbench. Mop bucket. Well, there are no rings in there. <laughs> Don't seem to be any in the sink either. Well, I got stuck on it. Hmm. Alright, let's try something here. Let's try and limit some sound propagation. Let's break our way into this curator's room because I don't have the key. It's not very stealthy, but you know. It works. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe he's got an extra tough door. Extra strong. I don't have the key, do I? 
Basement, security room, display case, courtyard. I bet you I bet you the captain has it. I bet you the captain has it. Which means I guess it's time to take our two minutes. Um and go up through the barrier. Upstairs. It's like thirty-one twenty on the uh, recording clock when I get that. So, but nobody's listening. What's that? Oh, I see how we get out. It's all right. Crimson Shards aren't on display yet. Find out where they're being kept. <gasps> display be a case key. Come on, where are you? There's nothing in the display cases. Office key, alright. A sort of jewelry featuring the rare and exquisite exquisitive crimson shards. Do not touch, they're all equipped with uh, alarms. Alright. Well, we made it. That's going to come on in about 30 seconds. I expected there was like an upstairs there, but uh, let's just walk quietly. Office key, so that's going to be curator Andrew's office, and oh, I thought I heard someone. So I guess now we're going to have to uh, go to his house as well. All right. It's never, you know, it's never a quick job. Never just get in, get the stuff, get out. It's always more complicated. Yeah, we wouldn't have it any other way, right? And now I'm very glad to knock this fellow out. Okay. Tell me some good news. Well, the good news is there's some money there. Does he have a secret room? What's that? Open by throwing a book. Oh, it appears not. What he does have. Curator's Froggett and McCalmont. If I'm not back before the exhibit in the tower is finished, feel free to take this key and retrieve the Crimson Shards from my house. Remember, it's the big blue house a few streets north of the Furlong. Curator Antrim. Time for a little detour. Really, have we done everything we need to in here? Yeah, we've got to uh, go to their house to the north. Well, uh, I guess, oh, this should have turned itself on again, right? Yeah. I guess we're done for a uh, museum. I'm not going to look for those other rings. That's going to take forever. If I was just playing on my own, I probably would, but uh, it's just running through room after room, scouring everything. It's a little boring to watch. So, I guess I could have opened the floor panel and found my way in here. Actually, I want to... I wanna, let's take a minute. I want to do that. I want to see if that's like marked as a secret or something. Probably not, but... Uh, sorry to make you watch this. But we're going to switch the barrier off again and, and try it. It'd be very hard to do it while, uh, if you're ghosting. Because there's no darkness in that room at the top of the tower, so uh, with that guy wandering back and forth to get in. Well, there's some darkness just in the doorway. 
to get in, nick his key, read the sign, or whatever it is you need to do. Get out through the trap door, which probably needs a lockpick, or maybe not. No, okay, it just opens. And, okay, that's all. Can't close it again there. And then you can get out here, okay. Uh, north. North is that way. Big blue house just north. Well, out here and to the right. That's right, it's guard wandering back and forth there. I didn't come this way because I didn't see a particular need to. We've got one guard wandering, and I think there's another one standing around somewhere. I hope there's not one right in front of the gate because that's where I want to run to in a minute. You seem oh, not good. There's no darkness. Yeah, it's such a shame, isn't it? If you're all drunk out of your heads, I could just run past you all. I wonder what's down there. Let's scout. Oh, that looks like a place. Not really seeing streets I recognize. I don't think I've been this way. Oh, it looks like maybe a place. Okay, that street has guards patrolling. I've seen it from uh, the other side. Oh. That's a big green house. Do you have a key or something? No. He's just being a nuisance. Alright. Let's not go that way. Back this way. I hear more footsteps. Oh, it's the guard wandering around there. Alright, wait for these two to turn their backs and uh, slip on past. Evening officer, don't mind me. <clears throat> I'm a upright citizen. Now I'm a little less upright. Right, so he's gone round to the right, and this guy's going to go round to the left. Doesn't look like a door I can open, so uh, he's just an obstacle. So is he. He's a problematic obstacle. How do I get past him without being seen? Is this his window? Doorway? No. Oh, 
all these fine fellows are not making it fun. Oh, he does turn, so I could probably get to somewhere I can knock him out from, but... Uh... Oh, this guy turns us back entirely. Okay, for how long? Probably long enough to get by. I'll have to wait for the two of them to line up. Oh, he also turns us back. Okay. It's probably that way, but I'm going to go this way first. Come on, mate, turn around. I think that door looks very interesting right now, don't you? Come on. Don't make me wait for this for this other fella to go right around, alright. Stay that way. Ugh. No way this street. Have I been here before? No, I don't, I don't think I have. The other side of the warehouse. Steal their arrow just for style, not what we need it. Blue house, that's a bluish house, is that the one maybe? It's a hemorrhoid place. See you have anything I need on him? No. A few streets north. Like, how many streets is a few? It's not enough darkness. It's just not enough darkness at all. There'd be nobody here. Don't make me use this. Don't make me use my invisibility potion. I think I'll be safe. Just wait for him to calm down. Although he's still probably on the alert. And now I don't know where that archer's gone and it's just not really the best shadow. I'll wait till he comes and goes again. So I'm afraid that if I just pop out too quickly, the uh, hammerite will just see me and go, aha, and attempt to smite me, as they love to do. Just listening for the uh, archer. Here he comes. to make my move. Ah, he's on me. That guy's dressed the same as the museum guards. If I were a gambling man, I'd wager this is the curator's house. Well, I was right to be, uh, 
worried about the hammer out. Shut up, Benny. Okay, he got suspicious but didn't chase me. Ah, oh, that guy there, is that, is that who you're talking about? Yeah. Right, well, now we know what house to go to. It'd be kind of funny if you like after you nick the arrow out of the uh, quiver if that just limited how much they could fire at you you know but it doesn't it just gives a free one right, what am i going to do about this fellow way over this wall is there, not without a bunch of boxes. Where's the key? Maybe I can just sneak in. Key. Uh. Alrighty. We have got in the house, now we just have to steal all the Crimson Shard jewellery everything else of value that she has. Hello, is she at home? <laughs> I don't know. There's a guard out the front, but uh, well, it's supposed to be away, right? That's the whole point. She left the house key so that people could set up the uh, exhibit in her absence. Oh, another healing potion. That's nice. Now maybe I have the gamma set up too high because it's like pitch black in here and I can actually see what I'm doing, but uh, you know, Garrett was eating his carrots. over a few items that we aren't able to show in the museum. The paintings are nice, but we don't have any room for more, while the rest don't really count as art. Certainly not fine art by any definition. We'll have to see if one of the museums with lower standards would like to take them off our hands. A major delivery today, including the jewellery that features those crimson shards everyone likes. Unfortunately, I fear they're only going to be a magnet for trouble. McCalmont won't hear any of it, considering she spent so much of our budget just to acquire those jewels and some new security devices to help protect them. But something tells me it won't be enough. I talked McCalmont into letting me sneak the Crimson Shards into my bedroom safe while we're closed for uh, while we're closed for renovations. The only ones who know I moved them are us curators and the guard captain. Now I just need to decide who to sell the jewels to so I can pretend they were stolen and hopefully collect enough insurance money to cover most of our losses. McCalmont and Froggart will be upset for sure, but if it means thieves won't be targeting our museum, all the better. Oh well, very honest of you to uh, write down your plans in your diary. Or any thief after the jewels could uh, <laughs> learn about it. Bedroom safe, you say. Am I guess it's going to be another wild boat chase. Ah, fuck you. Damn. I'll never catch up to her now. Someone got here before me. I can't even fit out that window. Well, it's the first time someone's used a flash bomb against me, so uh, that's injured my professional pride. The Crimson Shards are gone. That blasted thief. Ah, thieves. What a bunch of bastards, all of them. 
We just came here to steal our rightful loot from this safe and found another blaster thief had beaten us to it. And uh, he had the audacity to flash bomb us. So now I've got to find him and figure out where he's gone. I think I've got everything else of value from the house. So, uh, he went out. Which way? Yeah, lost my bearings. He went out further to the north. Okay. Is this place up a back door? No. Alright, so, uh. Anyway, I locked it behind me there. Take go any. Alright. Well. How do we even get around there? Hmm. It wasn't it wasn't these windows, was it? No. Who's oh. just just clean up. I am now bothered. Maybe there's a street over there. Do I wanna have to deal with this blasted hammer right again? Certainly nothing on the other side there, right? Like, it's not a gate that opens, is it? Doesn't appear to be. Well, I'm not gonna be able to make it past that, uh, that fellow. So I think we'll come back this way and uh, wait for this fellow to turn his back. Time. Hello? Probably just the wind. Objective's gone. I'm just, I don't have to chase the thief down. I just have to exit through any of the large city gates. Cause that doesn't look like it opens. Oh. Hmm. Maybe the idea is it's a setup for a follow-up mission, and this is the end of this mission. I was kind of expecting something more. If that does mean the city gates, then uh, this one here should be all right. So, <laughs> let's make our way there and see if that triggers the end of the mission. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Very short episode. show off. Let's check our stats. We missed about 600 loot. One airborne knockout. And missed one secret. And I guess perhaps there were those other seven rings in the museum that I missed. But uh, I'll take it. Alright. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next mission.